the strategy of generation income properties is probably one of the more conservative strategies for a net lease REIT. And the reason is, is because we're focusing on the real estate fundamentals of each asset first, which means that we're only investing in the top 20 highest density cities in the United States, which means New York, LA, San Francisco, Dallas, Atlanta, Miami, etc. And the reason we're doing that is we're trying to have the value of the real estate appreciate along with getting income or rent from these investment grade credit tenants for long periods of time. The reason that we went public instead of staying private is I do have a fund that invests in single tenant net lease assets in primary markets now. And when I went back to the investors and asked if they were interested in a second fund or would they prefer a publicly traded company where they can hold their own shares and have the potential for liquidity at any period. And they unequivocally said that they would prefer to have shares instead of being in a fund which is less liquid. So today's Regulation A plus is allowing me to start a publicly traded company in the most cost-effective and efficient manner. It's still very difficult to go through the SEC regulation process, but now using Regulation A, A plus we we're able to do that most effectively. What sets generation income properties apart from the other net lease REITs that are currently traded, all of them are traded on the New York Stock Exchange now, and we have a more conservative strategy because we're looking only in those primary densely populated markets, top 20 in the United States. And that's just different from all the other REITs out there because our focus is so heavy on the real estate value of each of those assets. The only thing I truly know about tenancy and, and tenants from a long-term perspective is that they will leave. And we want to make sure that we have the probability to reuse that real estate for long periods of time, hopefully at higher rents as well. And buying sound real estate that's very desirable for different tenants around the country is how you do that. Some of the goals for generation income properties for this year are just to raise our initial round of funding, start buying properties this year, and hopefully next year or the year that thereafter we'll start raising money in the three to five hundred million range to expand our portfolio. Some trends and challenges in, in today's net lease market is really just pricing. We're in a very aggressive market where there's a lot of people looking for very similar types of assets and that's one of the reasons why I don't want to raise a lot of money in today's market is to be in an extremely competitive environment where we have very low yields or very low cap rates. I think in the future as cap rates start gradually increasing over time uh, along with interest rates, we'll have more opportunity to make purchases. And the goal is to be conservative, to have a very long-term outlook, uh, to work with investment-grade credit tenants who are paying rents that hopefully increase over time. I purposely named the company Generation Income Properties because we're investing for generations. That is our outlook, is to make sure that my children, your children, and grandchildren all can benefit from the ownership of these assets.